Woo! Man, it is so hot. And this iced coffee is hitting the spot so well. This is our Colombian Arena roasted in that roaster. But also, thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. I'm about to share with you guys the one of the best, and I'm biased because I kind of put this together, one of the best coffee brewing travel kits out there. And it's not gonna cost you that much at all. All right, I'm pretty sure there's nothing left in there. The worst feeling ever is looking at your cup of coffee and there's none left. You know you just need to go back and brew yourself an extra cup and I'll probably be doing that right after I share with you guys my travel kit. So, last fall of 2019, I was on my way packing to go to Ireland. It was, first off, Ireland is extremely underrated and is really beautiful. I very much enjoyed my time there, but I also knew I was going to be in places where really, really extravagant good coffee wasn't going to be easily found. And I knew I had to find a way to put the basic necessities of brewing a great cup of coffee into a small, compact, travel-friendly um, size. So first off, we'll start off with the bag itself. This is actually a toiletries bag that I found at Target. Um, I don't think this is leather. I think this is like a fake leather, but it looks like a leather. It feels really good, looks really good. Um, doesn't actually look like there's a, there's coffee equipment inside, which I really liked. It was a stylish little thing. And what I loved a lot is that there was this zipper on the back, which held a small, slim little pocket. And when I was looking for a bag, it was kind of difficult to find something that wasn't too small to fit my AeroPress and my hand grinder with a small little scale, but also not too big and bulky, um, while also maintaining a pretty sleek design, which I think this looks pretty clean to me. Um, so we're gonna go through this one by one, what I got in here, I'm using, right in here, I'm using the AeroPress coffee brewer. Uh, this thing is absolutely amazing, it is very slim profile that's not made out of something like ceramic that won't break, so literally you can toss this, throw this around, and it probably most likely won't break on you, which for travel, that's an absolute essential, whether you're throwing this bag into a bag full of other things or, um, you know, you're just carrying this around. You need something that's not gonna break on you. So I settled with the AeroPress and that being said also, you can make a freaking good cup of coffee with your AeroPress if it's just done right. Moving on to the next thing. Um, I needed a grinder to grind my coffee, but I did find a Hario uh, hand grinder, which aren't super expensive. I think they go around $40, $50, um, and there's an adjustable setting inside so you can change the coarseness and the fineness of the coffee. And it's pretty compact. With this handle that comes off, you can just lay it down right into your pouch like this, and it gets the job done. I know there are slimmer grinders out there. If they cost about the same, am same amount as the Hario grinder, um, I wasn't really pleased. I think the Hario grinder does a very good job for the price point. But at the same time, um, I know they are much more expensive, like a co like the Comandante uh, C40. It's a little bit smaller, sleeker profile, um, does a much better job, but it's also a couple hundred dollars, which I wasn't quite ready to spend. So I guess depends on how detail oriented and how um, precise you are with your coffee brewing, but I love having a scale with me. So I know how much coffee I'm dosing out into this, into my AeroPress. So I know how much water is going into the AeroPress. I, I kind of want to know those details. And so what I love about this rear pouch right here is that um, actually it's just enough to hold a scale. Yeah, a scale. I bring a scale with me when I'm traveling. It's awesome. Uh, currently, this one has this cool little plastic casing 
on it, which kind of protects the scale, um, which is also a pretty big uh, deal when you're traveling. But then also it comes with a little rubber cover that you can throw on there, and now you have a scale for brewing. This is the Brewista scale. It's a little pricey. It comes in at around, I think, like 70 to $90. I don't know, I'll put it up somewhere right here. But I already had this scale um, because I had an espresso machine at home and this is what I used to measure out my shots. It was just the perfect size to slide into the back of this pouch without, uh, without feeling a little bulky. Of course, you need filters. So the next thing is um, this pouch, what I usually do is I oftentimes put the filters in a little Ziploc bag, which I can then toss in with the rest of the gear in here. Or I uh, grab these filters, throw it in right under the case, put the case on top and it's good to go. And the filters are right inside the case, the scale case, and this goes into the small pocket. I have also seen people creatively put filters in here, which is also a very, very good idea. So uh, what's this gonna cost you? So this is $34, the AeroPress is $30. You have the scale. Um, this scale is 90 bucks, I believe, but you can find the cheaper scale if you want to be precise. Let's say it's about 15 bucks on top of that. And this pouch I got at Target for only, I think it was like 10 bucks. I know, ridiculously cheap. It's a toiletries bag that can also be used for coffee equipment. Who would know? Of course, well, whoops, whoops. Oh, can't forget your AeroPress stir stick. This stick does not cost anything. It should come with your AeroPress brewer, um, but this will do wonders because you gotta stir. You know, brewing your coffee, not just throwing a bunch of hot water on top of some grounds, you actually gotta brew it. $85, you can have a pretty incredible travel a coffee brewing kit. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and making this far in the video. Honestly, I just wanna share this with you guys because I wish somebody showed me this same thing about a year ago when I was looking to make something like this. So um, there you have it. Guys, if you wanna stay tuned for more coffee videos, vlogs, whatever, I'm still trying to figure this thing out. I'm getting better with the consistency. But if you wanna stay tuned, watch more videos, hang out with me, spend some time, whatever you wanna do, hit that subscribe button. And folks, go grab your AeroPress and brew yourself something really delicious. We'll see you guys in the next one.